Hello guys, welcome back to the channel with a new microphone. Hopefully it will make it sound better. At least the quality is way better. Uh, but the volume, let's see. I hope I hope it's okay. Um, again, let me know. I, I really want to get this thing done because uh, because people are complaining that, you know, the volume for me is low, but when some ads come in, they are very high. Obviously, that's not a that's not a good mix. So ho hopefully it's better now. Let me know in the comments below. For this video, we are going to be looking into Uranium, the weekly close. Great day. The past two days have been great, actually. So we are going to be looking at the weekly time frames. Where are we? What can we expect? And uh, yeah, as always, do your own due diligence. And uh, yeah, let's get, let's get straight into business here. URA, that's a nice weekly candle. Taking out this stuff right here, which is nice. As you can see, we're fighting the highs here at roughly 28.5, give or take. Uh, but we're closing at the highs, so no wicks at, at the moment, which is very encouraging for the week to come. Uh, with uh, And the week we have had, we are up roughly 7% for the URA. Beautiful, lovely stuff here again. Uh, yeah, the orange uptrend still holding, still holding very well. And uh, yeah. Looks fantastic. You know, long term, we are just getting started here in my view. Again, this getting getting past the 28 zone, you can see it all here. Here you have all the interactions and the major wicks and on tops over here is a big level to get through. So getting through 28 into the 30s, that is where we want to be. And then this bull flag comes into play with the target at roughly, there you have it, roughly 95, give or take. So absolutely stunning if we can get that move a 3x from here. I will take it gladly. Same thing for URNM, really. Again, we're coming into the highs over here. And we have that previous pivot high here where we are at the moment. Again, notice the difference here. Here we had a major wick. And today we're closing at the highs. Um, so no, no sellers yet. Again, next week we want to see if we can blast through or if we can... Hopefully, this will not be some sort of double top right there. Uh, again, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful candlestick here again. You are in, you are in, I'm doing, doing perfect. Also doing perfect is, is actually you are in J. We have this bear flag here. And look what, what is happening. We are peaking above, out of the bear flag. And uh, that is exactly what we want to see. Also above the IPO highs. And uh, yeah, now the next resistance is that that pivot high here. Um, at roughly 25, 25 point something. And uh, beautiful, nothing to worry about here. Uh, U.UN, this proud physical uranium trust peaking above here again. Very bullish as long as we stay above that rising trend line there. Um, I will say this very, very bullish. Uh, I had my peers, you know, that this could be where we were breaking down. Uh, clearly, we went to the upside, but the scary part is. If and when we retest, if we break down again, then usually we go all the way to the other side of that uh, false breakout, as you know. So, but again, for now, we celebrate beautiful, beautiful stuff here. And again, as you know, I, I have no doubts that we will visit the, the highs over here in 2007 at some point in time. And uh, yeah, peaking above here could mean that you know i said like 18 months but if this really has, has legs this could be a huge meld up for this move here and then obviously we have some longer sideways action but still we would this could go very fast given this peak above here so xle against the spx i have some doodles from last time here so we are depending on how you draw that neckline maybe we hit it here today let's do like this so actually we we hit the neckline and we retraced, as you can see here, with a huge wick to the neckline. And now comes the important stuff, right? We have hit the neckline. It's very well defined. And now I think we're going all the way up here for some sort of retest. And then we will see what happens. We have the neckline, but we also have this squeeze here, right? So if we can break above, forget about it, the neckline and all this inverted head and shoulder, uh, this head and shoulder stuff, it's gone. Um, so yeah, beautiful to see that intra-week bullish um, wake right there. Here we have XLE against URNM. Going down, going down. The next, oops, the next resistance 
is right here. We're getting close, and uh, and yeah, maybe some maybe some squeezing here, but still lower lows, lower highs. That's how it is uh, until proven otherwise. We can add on the thirty weekly coming down nicely here again. We are a bit stretched from that thirty weekly, but but again, uh, that is my view. That is my view for this one here. Then, if that is the case, obviously we will see some sort of retrace here, only to to roll over, so like an inverse cup cup and handle play here. It's definitely in the making, and for now it 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 follows the path beautifully. URNM here against the. I'm actually very excited to see this one. I haven't been looking at it, so I have all the doodles from last time. Ex excuse me. Okay, let's go to the daily because I I am very very interested in this one. Some nice. Actually, very nice here. Still, two things. The bullish side is obviously we've broken out of that falling bullish flag here into the major long-term gold to trend line. Beautiful, and we are breaking up here nicely. The bearish case, obviously, is that we want to negate some sort of, as you can see here, side of action. We want to break to the upside, basically. So two things to note. And again, always look at both sides of the coin, but definitely on the weekly, we don't see the bear flagging as much. All we see is that, and then we blasted higher here. So nice, nice to see. And uh, yeah, long term again looks fantastic here. Really, nothing new, but still, as I have said tons of times, you know, breaking out and then some sort of bullish consolidation into the retest, very, very nicely. And and for now, we celebrate a move and a breakout to the upside. URA getting back to the upper trend line of this huge wedge that we have right here. And um, yeah, let's see. Again, we're squeezing up here. Again, most of the times that is the path. And uh, if we can break above the golden here, you can see we have the 30 weekly as well. So a break up from here will be two major um, resistances to get through here, really. Um, but as you can see here again, it tagged it and then boom, right back down. So this wedge here is very well defined. Every time we hit one or the other, you have a wig more or less. So beautiful stuff right there. Excuse me. URA against the overall commodities. I want to go to the monthly actually, because it gives a bit of, bit of view. I can just remove this one. That's not in play. That's still in play. Okay. The, the high there, the high there, and now, boom, back above again. Hugely in favor, uranium against overall commodities. That is where you want to be, uh, without any doubt, right now. Um, going to the weekly, the third weekly is coming up very hard here. And again, uh, uranium is definitely, definitely, definitely setting up for major performance of overall commodities. Exactly like we want to, to have it. Uh, so, yeah. Let's keep that going. Uh, let's go to the daily here. We added this blue triangle here. And it seems like that helped. I was a bit iffy about it, but it seems and now we're going to the upside. So if we can break out from here next week, that is nice. URA again outperforming uh, the SPY after we broke out here. You can see right here we had that major, major breakout. And now we're sideways bullish consolidation, 30 weekly coming up behind it. Exactly. We love it. That is exactly what we want to see. Same thing again, you know, here. I, I don't want to go much, into much detail on the URA again, against the NASDAQ. The real fun begins when we take out that red zone here. But for now, again, same thing. Sideways coiling here. This could be boom. Again, obviously, it could also be that way. But still, a move up, sideways action you always have higher probabilities of going with the trend. So, and that's exactly what we hope to see right here. Would be nice. You can see here, I want to go into on the, on that one here. Right here, we were actually very close to breaking down. And now we have had a, a bounce off that green expanding dotted uh, formation here. Again, as you know, the big, big one to get through is what? There it is. That is the big one to get through. Until then, we're still fighting it. But again, how many times 
can it withstand a every time you pounce on a trend line it gets weaker so that is what we're hoping for we're still below the green big resistance here of this uh, support and resistance level here and that is where we want to get above um so the next few months we will fight it out here in that triangle and hopefully uranium wins uh, again i'm not bashing on bitcoin because i've made my my best trade is actually in bitcoin from from mid 2020 to late ish 2021 going from roughly 10k to uh, 10k to 55k so my best trade is actually in bitcoins i don't hate bitcoin uh don't get me wrong uh but i hate the narrative around it you know that it is the next you know the next gold the next uh, uh overall currency for the world no no forget about it that's not it um bit of a rant here anyways again we're going to visit that neckline in the uranium spot against silver. Um, that is my, in this case, you know, this is the bear flag on the weekly, and then we're going down here. That's my highest probability take. Same thing for gold. Again, we are popping a bit here today, actually, uh, this week. But uh, I do think that you cannot have such a long-term neckline here going back 10, 13 years and not having a retest. Um, you will have that at some point in time. So let's just have it now. And you know, when we're retesting here, I don't think it will be the spot price that is dropping down. It will be gold outperforming while the spot price remains very strong. So good. That is all I had for you today on the uranium part. Uh, again, the microphone better, not better. Let's uh, let's uh, please vote. Uh, please vote. What am I talking about? Please comment, and uh, so we can work this out so you have the best experience. And uh, I will not get any more complaints about a low volume. Uh, so yeah, have a great one, guys. Cheers. Have a great weekend as well. Bye.